Hi, I hope your day's going well. In a recent video, I spoke some about cold weather gear, and I'd like to talk about that some more on another video, but something that you'll probably notice at the present time about these videos is that they're unscripted. I don't typically have any notes <clears throat> to view. I have to give presentations in graduate school, you know, slides and stuff like that. And that is a good thing for conveying information and business meetings and there's, there are environments where that is a good thing, but <coughs> generally <coughs> when people are just having conversations between friends, as far as I know, and I can't speak for others. I can only speak for myself. I do not bring a three by five index card about things that I want for us to talk about if I'm talking with my friends. I might have something that I want to mention to them or ask them about, but usually those having notes on something is for talking about a business meeting or some type of business transaction where we need to cover an agenda. So the fact that these videos are they meander this way and, and may go that way and touch, touch on topics again later and <clears throat> return to those topics in and out of different videos is by design to keep these videos more conversational, more off the cuff, more relaxed, more organic whatever whatever words you want to use to <clears throat> describe them. But something that I was thinking about today is Christianity and I follow Jesus. And I think sometimes people say, oh, so you're a Christian. And I think myself, that word means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. <clears throat> Someone may, and these things are neither here nor there. I'm just talking about what I see through my eyes as a person. Someone may say that they're a Christian and they go to church somewhere or whatever. And then when you have a conversation with them, and again, it's neither here nor there, People are obsessed with judging right now, and I'm not even trying to go there, but <clears throat> they say they're a Christian, and in their mind, that may be true, and then they go to church somewhere, but then when you have a conversation w with them, it seems like they don't have their own faith. They don't have their own belief. They haven't come to conclusions <clears throat> by studying on their own time of what they believe or have a defense. A defense means a means of explaining something like in the legal term, a defense, right? Why do you eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Because they give me energy. They're healthy. They're affordable. They're fast to make. They're readily available. That's a defense for eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That doesn't mean anybody's attacking you for or me for eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But if a person says, yeah, I'm a Christian, that they're a Christian, and then you talk to them and it seems like their faith is more based on what their church congregation tells them or their pastor or preacher or priest or deacon or whatever the terminology that you want to use is, that their ideas are not their own. And so I kind of think, well, the, the term Christian is, is used very generally and very loosely. 
And so, I mean, technically, the <clears throat> I just had a protein shake. <laughs> um, technically, the short version, if somebody says, oh, are you a Christian? And they say yes. Like, you know, there's no need to have a long conversation about it. But I think maybe a more accurate term for me would be a follower of Jesus or a follower of Christ. Because I do read, I do my own research. I have defenses and explanations for an evidence from the Bible. <clears throat> and I respect if people don't believe that the Bible is real, fine. If some people don't think that God is real, that's fine. If some people think that there is a deity out there that is not God, but there's a thousand deities, fine. Whatever it is. This is not about... This is about my spiritual walk. And I'm not trying to get on to anybody about anything, about whatever. But I would classify myself at the present time as a follower of Christ or a follower of Jesus and a follower of the Bible, I don't subscribe to any particular, like, people will sometimes ask, oh, well, what, what kind of congregation, you know, are you a member of? Are you a Methodist? Are you a Baptist? Are you Catholic? Are you Presbyterian? Are you... I mean, there's there's a lot of them out there. A lot. I just tell them straight up, I'm a Christian. I follow Jesus. I read the Bible. I fail a lot, but I'm just trying to do my best. And that is, that's my spiritual walk. And I understand that everybody else has their own spiritual walk. Not only that, but people have their own spiritual walk in their spiritual timeline. You may find somebody who, whatever, five years ago they believed, you know, item number one, right? And they adhered to that, whether it was a book or a, whatever it was. And then maybe two or three years later, or two or three weeks or months later, they're, it, they, they've come to the conclusion through research or experience that the what they believed before was it wasn't good for them or it didn't it was not a good fit for them or what have you and people change and there's that spiritual timeline and then there's also a spiritual timeline where <clears throat> people may Maybe they just read the Bible. I just use that as an example because that's what I'm most familiar with. And over time, their, their relationship with God and with reading the Bible and with others and their relationship with, you know, whatever, what they do with money, their marriage, you know, it, it's constantly changing and evolving. Sometimes it's growing. Sometimes they're getting closer. Sometimes that you're getting further away. My point being is wherever you're at right now and wherever I'm at, I'm just talking about me. I'm not talking about you. And I'm certainly not judging you. And, but I think that that being said, when I look at, when I read the Bible, which I believe to be 100% true, I feel like it reflects very accurately the world that we live in even today of people being jealous of people, putting their egos first, being taking spiritual issues and politicizing them and using spiritual issues for political gain and using spiritual issues as a political platform. And you see that in the book of Acts, ACTS in the New Testament, of people being jealous of Jesus, people being jealous of 
of the apostles and just harassing them like almost nonstop. And it's just sad. So that's, I realize that's a long precursor to a thought, but I just not a fan of people politicizing spiritual faith. And some people may watch this video and go, that's exactly what you're doing. I <laughs> I don't even have a response. There's no point in me responding to anything like that. But that's that's my background. And it's disappointing to me when people use faith of any, any type for political gain. It seems like a lot of times people who are seeking political gain will do anything and use anybody and anything to get there. A little disappointing. But anyway, that's... That's my two cents. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. And if you're not, the sun will probably rise tomorrow. All right. I'll talk to you soon.